Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And yeah, sorry for sounding so depressed in my last video. Um, I was just kind of in my feelings for no reason. And thinking about it now, it was kind of not really that big of a deal, um, I guess. I don't know, just sometimes I just feel bad for no reason. But I appreciate all the support. And anyways, um, today, I just wanted to make a quick video about, um, I guess, you know, something I've been doing for a while, but um, yeah, because given the time of this video and what I was talking about last video, it might sound like I recently just did this in response to that, but I've actually, um, what am I saying? So basically I joined an MMA class um, and I didn't just join it right after recording the last video. I actually joined it maybe like around two to three weeks ago and it was pretty random how I joined. Um, basically, I've been wanting to join some sort of gym for a long time and um, I don't know, I decided to look for gyms nearby and I was like, F it, I might as well just send a, I don't know, I'm gonna sign up for like a free trial that they were offering at this one gym and I, I sent, uh, I guess I gave them my contact info and within like five minutes of me sending it to them, they immediately called me and asked me if I wanted to book a class um, the next day and it kind of took me aback uh, because I hate spontaneous crap. Well, they actually asked me if I wanted to do it the day, the day of, but I was like, I'd rather do it the next day. So anyways, they, I, they actually got me to start the trial, which I wasn't expecting to happen so soon given that there was like COVID and everything happening and like this, the lockdown crap. But um, I joined the class and um, well, lo and behold, um, I actually liked it because I felt that, you know, I was being pushed and I feel like the people who are teaching it definitely know way more than what I could ever learn alone. And I felt during the class, that, um, well, I would, it's, they're pretty short, but um, I feel like I was being pushed physically. And um, I really like that because, well, you know, doing like the home workout stuff, I don't really push myself as hard as I should. And like the coach person was also, um, you know, calling me out on a lot of things that I never would have thought of. And, um, you know, they're teaching me how to punch like the orthodox way, but, um, and I personally don't like that, but out of respect and I guess, you know, humility, cause I really don't know shit about fighting. So I was like, yeah, I might as well just, you know, punch this way instead of the way I normally punch. But, um, yeah, so I joined the class and you might be wondering why I joined this class. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like something I would do, I guess, because, you know, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a Chad or some like alpha motherfucker, but, um, I guess that's probably one of the main reasons, um, I did it, you know, it's not to become, you know, not to become Chad, but <laughs> it's stupid, but, um, well, I guess maybe it is, but not, you know, Chad, like, physically, but I guess, you know, overcome a lot of the things that, um, you know, I'm dealing with right now. For example, my lack of self-confidence and my people pleasing, which I think are my two biggest character flaws when I'm dealing with people. I think I'm, I think I'm too nice and that's because I'm very conflict averse for many reasons i could probably think of several stories that i could tell later but um yeah i'm pretty conflict diverse and i feel like you know there's not really a lot of opportunity to um i guess be in conflict that's very safe like there's no like places where you can practice talking shit to people i guess and you know at the end of the day a lot of the social anxiety when you think about it is really out of a fear of being killed, but I feel like fighting is the ultimate form of conflict and being able to fight, being able to handle yourself 
might, I'm not saying it'll cure my social anxiety, but I feel like it might push me even further in the right direction. Um, just knowing how to handle myself, knowing that, you know, I could maybe defend myself in a fight or even deal with somebody if they're being too much of an asshole to me in real life. And um, also, um, also just the fact that, um, what was I gonna say? Also just the fact that like, you know, having not been in too many fights, I feel like, like the actual physical fights, I feel like it's a bad thing because, you know, you're always, there's always going to be that fear of being punched in the face. And I feel like I'm probably going to get a lot of that eventually once I get a sparring partner, which I think should take some time because right now everyone at my gym is accounted for apparently. So I have to wait for somebody new to sign up who's like a similar build to me. But um, I think that, you know, being punched in the face is the ultimate way of, you know, building courage because, well, what's, what's worse than being punched in the face and physically assaulted? I mean, if I can learn to deal with that and I guess learn to, you know, figure out that, you know, I can survive that sort of pain, then maybe it'll help me realize that it'll help change my relationship with pain and suffering, which I'm obviously very afraid of as a neat and I think that that might also help me too. And there's also just the whole, um, you know, people mentioned the comment section in my last video that, you know, maybe I should join a club or something, make friends. And I feel like that's also another reason why I joined is because I want the whole, you know, I, cause I, I, I've watched videos of like training camps and, you know, everybody just seems so, so tight. And, uh, you know, it's like a tight, well-knit group. Everybody knows each other. Everybody's confident. Everybody's relaxed. And I don't know, it's just a weird thing, but it's something that I've always wanted to be a part of, I guess, is like just among people who are pursuing the same thing and who are confident and who are generally there to pull me up versus pull me down. And I feel like a lot of the people who have been in my life, who have been my quote unquote friends, have been the types to like pull me down or just keep me the same as I am. And I'm hoping to meet people who might, um, you know, maybe pull me in a more positive direction. So that and the whole, you know, team building and learning to trust people, I think you obviously have to build trust in people when you're sparring with them because you have to trust that they won't beat the shit out of you or, you know, they'll use the right amount of force and they'll help me build a lot of social skills too, I guess. I mean, I don't have a sparring partner yet, but I mean, I hopefully that will happen and as well as just, you know, sticking to something for once and, you know, being confident in it. And it is kind of pricey, but I feel like it will be worth it for all the reasons I've listed above, it'll also be good for my physical fitness and maybe help me achieve the physique that I've always wanted, which is, you know, like extremely lean, but muscular, not like overly muscular, like a bodybuilder, but like lean and, you know, have having like a lot of mobility and being able to move my body the, the way I want it. And um, I think these are, these and probably many other reasons, but these are probably the main reasons why I joined this class in the first place. And I feel like it'll help me improve as a person. And, you know, I, I am sort of a fan of the Joe Rogan podcast and, you know, he does always shill for martial arts. So, and I feel like having done it myself, I sort of, do feel that little bit of confidence, but I feel like I'd have it so much more with the, the sparring aspect and everything. And, you know, actually being taught proper things like the footwork and the head movement and all that, which I'm missing out on by uh, training alone. So anyways, uh, this is just a quick update. Um, I'll probably make a neat ascension video in my next video, you know, maybe talking more about it or just showing some of the 
things that I've learned in class and maybe it could, it could act as sort of like a baseline video of my current level of skill and maybe I could compare myself maybe several months or even years in the future if I manage to stick with this. Not manage, I mean, I know I, stick, I, I, know I will stick with this because that's what I'm supposed to say with my positive self-talk crap and also because I have been doing the boxing stuff even though kind of like unprofessionally but you know have been fairly consistent with it and you know the teacher coach person did comment that my punches were pretty good so that kind of made me feel good kind of made me feel like all that work wasn't for nothing so yeah and I also feel a little bit better because I sort of managed to figure out how to play the song that my cousin played last time and it sort of made me realize that you know a lot of things like that make people look good like playing guitar songs are really just like party tricks they look really difficult to the untrained eye but they're actually really not that like freaking hard like I literally learned how to play the song within like maybe 30 minutes of looking it up so I mean it actually wasn't that hard but it sounded amazing um but it just looked like my cousin was a god and that I was fucking piece of shit because well I don't know I was I guess not aware of how easy how easy it was to play the song and um yeah sorry that's kind of an, a, a side note I guess so uh, basically um mental note to myself uh is to not you know jump to conclusions that I'm retarded when maybe you know people are constantly putting up a front and just not saying how easy the stuff they do actually is even though it looks extremely hard so and also a mental note to myself that maybe I'm entitled to do the same thing you know amongst normies I'll keep it 100 with you guys um hopefully anyways most of the time I mean obviously there's stuff that I'm still not comfortable with sharing yet but I feel like I'll be able to, oh, okay, I'm rambling. Um, uh, anyways, this is Company Eat signing out. I'll probably upload my next video uh, two days from now or something. Uh, anyways, this is Company Eat signing out.